Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. In this video today, we are going to discuss how you can start a career in project management. So you may be a graduate just out of your college or you may be a working professional in operations or administration looking for a change in career or you might be an entry level project executive or project support officer willing to build a lifelong career in project management. Whichever position you are in, this video will provide you with all the right strategies and action plans you need to start a strong and impactful career in project management. If you are new to my channel, I am Ray and I'm a PMP and a PRINCE2 certified project manager. And I'm working in London as a senior project manager in the healthcare domain. I have over 12 years of project management experience and I started my career as a project engineer moving up to an associate project manager and then to a project manager and finally all the way up to a senior project manager now. And this happened across a spectrum of industries such as power and utility, fast moving consumer goods and healthcare. So you see guys, whatever tips I'm going to provide to you in this video, those will not be some theoretical gyan, okay? But actual strategies and tactics which you can apply in your career to get a head start in project management. Now to do that, we will break down the video into five sections where each section will focus on a mindset or a strategy you need to adopt to build a strong career in project management. Right, so strategy number one, charity begins at home. Now, what do I mean by that? See guys, you need to understand that when you plan to start a career in project management, it's best to start from where you are already working currently, okay? Now in whichever domain you are working at the moment, for example, HR, sales, marketing, operations, administration, etc. Or let's say whichever industry you are in at the moment, for example, manufacturing, finance, service, etc. Projects do happen everywhere, right? Hence, a smart approach would be to find such opportunities of project management within your organization first. Every employee in an organization does have a career discussion with the line manager at least once in a year, right? Now, during those discussions, express your interest of shadowing a project manager or let's say you can pick up a mini project yourself within your company. I'm sure your line manager will support you as long as you are ready to put in a few extra hours and you do not ask for an extra pay. I mean, look guys, it is your interest to build a career in project management, right? Now, you can't be too transactional when you are trying to find an opportunity. You have to show some flexibility with your line management and within your current role. If I give you my example, during the early days of my career, I shadowed project managers and program managers within my organization outside my office hours as well, okay? and I was not getting paid anything extra for those hours. Now, the good thing that will happen with this is your manager or let's say the program manager or the project manager whom you are shadowing will get to know that you are interested in project management and that way when a suitable opportunity comes their way, there is a high chance that they will consider you for that role. So the bottom line is Plan to start from where you are already in, okay? Don't think that if you plan to build a career in project management, you need to leave whatever you are doing now and rewind your whole career, okay? That's a myth, right? Next, strategy number two, opportunities in life projects. Now, this is especially relevant to you if you are like just planning to start a career in project management fresh out of your college or you are at a very early stage of your career, okay? Let's say less than one year in the industry. 
Generally, to build a career in project management, you need to have a significant project experience in the first place, right? You just can't faff in the interview saying that you have been doing projects when actually you are not doing them. The interviewers are smarter than you think, okay? Hence, a good strategy here, which I often recommend to young professionals is to look for opportunities in life projects or volunteering. Now, the first place to look for such kind of opportunities are job sites such as LinkedIn or Indeed. Search with the terms such as project intern or project volunteer and you will find many job advertisements which will typically not ask you of any previous work or project experience. Now, these are ideal opportunities for you to just put your foot through the door and enter the world of project management. Once you start to gain significant project experience at entry levels, your mastery on the field will start to develop and the interviewers will be seeing this, okay? Because now you will answer every question from your personal experience and those answers will not be textbook answers. Another good source to find such internship or volunteering opportunities in project management are websites such as pmi.org or apm.org.uk. These are organizations which provide project management certifications and they do post about volunteering opportunities in their local chapter events or member meets from time to time. So keep an eye out for those. Okay, so moving on, strategy number three, searching for entry level project manager jobs. Many professionals or freshers who are willing to start a career as a project manager make this mistake when they search for jobs on LinkedIn or Indeed. And that is, they directly start scouting and applying for project manager jobs. Now, that is not a very sensible thing to do, right? Why would an organization trust you with a project manager role when you virtually do not have any experience to substantiate it? On what basis the company will pay you as a project manager if you have not led any projects yourself before, right? Honestly, that doesn't make any sense to me. Hence, the tip here is to apply for more entry-level positions in project management. For example, when you are searching for jobs on LinkedIn or Indeed, please don't search with project manager or program manager as a search term. Instead, search with terms such as project associate, project volunteer, project assistant, project support officer, junior project manager, etc. Such kind of search queries will provide you with more relevant opportunities for you as an individual willing to start a career in project management. And then once you are into the role and you have got at least two to three years of work experience and you are doubly sure that you want to do project management for the rest of your career, now here is a tip, mind it guys, Project management is really not for all because the reality of doing projects can be very different from your expectations. Now, however, coming back to the point, if you are happy with the experience you have gained at the entry level of project management for two to three years, you can then choose to plan and apply for more senior positions. Next, strategy number four, certifications. If you plan to start a career in project management, having the right and relevant certifications can really help to boost your CV and your profile. Now, when it comes to certifications in project management, you are really spoiled for choice, okay? Literally, there are hundreds of certifications from all kinds of local and global organizations and all of them claim to be the best. So it can sometimes be very tricky to choose the right certification which will fit your profile. Many entry-level professionals often make this mistake of getting a lot of certifications 
very early in their careers just to find out later that really none of them are relevant to their interest or relevant to the industry which they're working in currently. A tip here would be to benchmark within your industry and within your peer group to first understand which certifications work the best and then plan accordingly. A big reason why project managers do not see the benefit coming out of a certification is because they basically go for the wrong certification. Okay, I have made quite a few videos on my YouTube channel explaining the different types of beginner and advanced level project management certifications. So it might be a good idea for you to watch those videos, especially this video which talks about the key differences between the PMP and the PRINCE2 certifications. Now a final tip before we move on to the next one, please bear in mind guys that you will become a good project manager once you apply your learnings from a certification process into your professional life to deliver excellence in your projects. You will not see the benefits of a certification if you just get it to boost your ego or just to flaunt it on your LinkedIn profile or visiting card. Finally, the last and the most important one. What is it recruiters look for when they are interviewing an entry level project manager? Now a few things to keep in mind here. Okay. Firstly, it is completely all right not to have any direct project management experience when you are applying for an entry level position. I mean, that's why it's entry level, right? So please don't bluff in your interview saying that you have literally moved mountains while doing projects. Please be grounded and honest about your experience so far, which is ideally non project. However, please emphasize on the experiences you have gained while shadowing a project manager or let's say participating in a project as a volunteer. Please go back and check the first point of discussion that we had when we started this video. And finally, during the interview, try to provide instances where you have used some project management tools in your professional life. For example, maybe you have built a RACI matrix for one of your project managers when you are shadowing him or her. Okay. Or let's say, for example, you have helped a senior project manager to prepare a highlight report or a project brief. Or let's say, for example, you prepared a Gantt chart to track a project performance within your family managed business, etc, etc. So bottom line is guys, link the theory to the practical applications. This is what will provide you with the foundation stone to build a strong career in project management. I hope you liked the discussion. Please press the like button if you did and I will see you again soon.